Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Brams! Oh Luke. shit! I am your father! Luke, I am your father. In a parallel universe, this would all make sense, but since we live in a society, the real line is, no, I am your father. What started off as something simple, like a misheard line that became familiarized over the years by millions of people, only for you to learn that you are wrong the entire time. Which leads me to where I am today. Judgment Day. But before we continue down this rabbit hole any further, it is best that we start from the very beginning so that way you can see and hear the full story. Or stories. Hello, my name is Dixon Sider, and I am a questionnaire under Eerie Evidence Revealed, or Queer for short. My job? I investigate cases that deal with disappearances of strange individuals that have caused controversy among the law in recent memory. And I try to get the full story brought into public light through any means necessary. But I'm not doing it because I've been unemployed since the stock market crash in 2008, which forced millions of families and homeowners to sell their houses. Thanks, Bill Clinton! But that has nothing to do with what I'm doing now. I'm not doing it for the money, I'm not doing it for the glory, or for the free whiskey, hell, I'm not even doing it for the badonka donk. I'm doing it to find out the truth. I wanna know. I got my hat. <laughs> you can live without it. Who is Brahms Man? Last year, there were numerous sightings of a man who covered his face with a hood. And victims claim that this man, under the vigilante alias of Brahms Man, committed acts of public indecency, domesticated terrorism, war, and random acts of. Yeah, I gotta eat some of that. Some claim his acts were out of seeking attention, others claim it inspired hope and individuality, while others called him a menace to society. But then, Brahms Man disappeared. Brahms Man, away! <laughs> Poof. Gone. Seemingly wiped off the face of the earth for an entire year. And ever since, crime and political corruption has risen exponentially. I can't help but to believe that the two are connected in some way. And it's my job to get to the bottom of this. So I started my search with people who have claimed to seen or heard of the Brahms man and who he may actually be. I was able to interview them. And these are their... And these are their... And these are their... And these are... And these are their stories. Hello. Hi. First of all, who are you and what do you do? Me? I'm Dixie Mormon. Uh, this is my ranch. My ranch. Uh, and are these cows yours? Uh, yeah, you got Billy, Bobby. I've heard that you may have connections to. You may have connections to. You may have connections to the Brahms man. I want to know. What do you know? Well, I think he's pretty weird, but uh, I heard he beats up bad guys. When was the first time you've seen or heard of this man? Uh, well, I seen him because he was trying to milk my cow. My cows! Yeah, he was trying to milk my cows, so I brought out my trusty shotgun, and and then he started eating the grass. So I was like, I'll just leave him alone. He seems fine. So, what was he just milking the the 
the girl cows? No, he was milking the guy cows too. I don't know why. He's crazy. Did, did he really know the difference? Shoot, I don't even know the difference. Last time I seen him, I, I was having a sleepover with the cows over there. And then I seen this car. It went zoo. And then another car. Zoo. And, and I seen a lot of guns. I seen a lot of guns and I heard a lot of popping. And then I heard the sirens wee, 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 like five minutes later. So I, I guess that's what happened. You think he was involved in a in a heist or a shootout or he was tracking down someone? Shoot. Maybe, I don't know. He's a strange man. Milking my cows, who does that? Do you don't you milk your cows? Well yeah. They're mine. Fair enough. My cousin Drew at the trailer park, he went hunting one day and, and he claimed to have hunted down a man in a mask. It may have been Brahms man. I don't know. So you're saying your cousin Drew may have hunted Brahms man? That could be the cause of his disappearance. Do you know where he might be? Oh yeah, you're just gonna go across the yonder, over to the river, under the bridge, and you're gonna take a right, another right, a left, then you're gonna go across the woods, through the path over there. It's gonna be kind of creepy at first, but you'll get through it. Then there's gonna be an old little man right there, but don't worry about him, he's always there. Then you're just gonna take another right, left, down the road, a little bit, little, 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 slight, slight right, then you'll be there. Before I answer any of you questions, uh, you a Sasquatch? No. No, I don't, I don't believe I am. One other question. You a vegan? Oh, God, no. I'm a queer. Oh, that's all right. That's better. That's all right. All right. Any yeah, questions? Go ahead, shoot. God, I didn't lose my virginity. Blast to that. Blast to that. Who are you and what do you do? My name is uh, Drew P. Wiener. Also known as uh, DPW. Uh, I'm a hunter. I hunt mythological creatures like uh, my arch rival Sasquatch and uh, Chupacabra, sometimes the Bobcat, and, uh, and uh, a woman that stays loyal. I heard about you from your cousin Dixie. Dick's enormous. I want to know. What do you know about the Brahms man? Well, uh, I hear he's a type of vigilante. I've only seen him once. Uh, I was hunting the Sasquatch. Going down. You know, Sasquatch, they like to hide out in the trees, like birds. Yeah. So I got up in there, right? I'm up in the trees like an Ewok from that Star Wars movie. And then I, I see him there in the tree with the bird carcass all in his mouth seemed like he was fine though good folk you know first time i seen him but not the first time i heard of him last time i heard of him uh he fought off some pedophile with a uh, peanut butter i hear i don't know it's a wild story it's hard to believe it's, he's almost like a myth himself i might as well hunt him down what's the point of hunting him in there if uh He's doing good things, like helping folks out, like uh, fighting Sasquatch and beating up pedophiles. So you're saying he was fighting Sasquatch while you're hunting Sasquatch? Yeah. So you saw was... Sasquatch? I've seen Sasquatch many times, and I see a lot of folks don't believe in Sasquatch, but what they don't know is Sasquatch eats babies. And that leads into my next point. Last time I saw him, 
The last time I saw the bronze man was when I was hunting Sasquatch again. I had seen him, uh, heard crying first. So I sneaked down in the woods, shotgun in hand, family heirloom and all. And then uh, the scream start, crying like a baby. So I run over. I find her right there, in arm Sasquatch, about to eat her whole like a burger. But uh, then the bronze man came out of nowhere with the, that big bright mask on and then started beating down the Sasquatch with a drumstick from KFC. Now as a man who likes myself a good little bit of chicken, I knew for sure it was a family pack meal, you know? It had the biscuits and sometimes the, the potatoes, but... Family gravy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. But he, he, he saved that baby. He snatched that baby right out that hand. Took a bite of his leg and uh, beat him down with that, that that drumstick from KFC, all after taking a bite. But I uh, don't cut that out because I, I told people I killed the Sasquatch, not him. So. And finally, what do you know about Mike Hunt? I have reason to believe that Mike Hunt may have worked with Brahms Man in the past, or perhaps still is. Can you tell me of any connections or theories you might have? I know about Mike Hunt is uh, ain't he supposedly lactose intolerant? Is he? Uh, I hear he was. It's kind of ironic because I always see him eating bluebell ice cream. But connections, the only connection I would say is is uh, I feel like one time I did see him also with a Sasquatch. But I don't know if he was fighting him or talking to him. I know he had a bird with him though. But I want no KFC bird. It looked like a living bird, like an owl. Now? Yeah. Real cuddly with it. I don't know if it was his friend or what. It was his wife. Looks like it was his wife. But, you know, I ain't one to judge, you know. Everyone get a little lonely sometimes. Just be like that. Get lonely? It's a, it gets a little lonely. Just a little bit. You know, they don't worry about me. You know, I got... I got... I'll, I'll find... I'll find uh, someone. Sasquatch. She took the kids. I had met that Sasquatch 12 years ago. We had a nice family. I've been hunting her ever since then. I want my children back. All this time, you were hunting Sasquatch because you weren't looking for fame and glory like Mike Hunt. You were looking. Such a tragic story. Spent all this time hunting the love of your life only to find out that she's a baby eating Sasquatch. But coincidentally, Brahms man was at the real heart of this story. And it's time I made my way to the heart of the suburbs to interview more of the urban lives so I would have seen more of Brahms man in action. So I went to the high school where a certain person and incident of interest took place last year. Misinformation. 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 Who are you, and what do you do? Well, my name's Anita, Anita Mann, and I'm the head cheerleader of the Pom Pom Pigeons. What do you want? We're doing an interview. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Well, 
I want to know. Uh, first of all, who are you and what do you do? Really? I'm a teacher. Dog. State your name and what you do. There's misinformation. I've been teaching for like 47 years or something. I've lost count. I teach, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, science. Lab crap, you know. Students fill up the little things and, you know, it's just stupid. What did you ask me again? What do you know about the Brahms man? Oh my gosh, I'm okay. He's hot. Am I getting paid for this? Answer the question. What do you know about the Brahms man? Oh. I was in the bathroom, right? I'm on the commode or whatever, and there was this, uh... Miss, I need a man, oh, whatever her name is, talking about Peter's butt, or... Oh my god. Did you see Peter's butt the other day? He's cute. What's her name? Melissa. Oh, I can't even get through a lesson without her. He has the best hair, the best body. Don't even start about Lola. Like, so two faced. I know he has like nine baby mamas, but I don't care. I still, oh, I want to have his baby. Nissa, Maya, Anita, Natalie Portman, Emma Stone. Oh my gosh, and he's got a great ass. You talking about if I've seen the guy? That, tell me if you understand this, right? But he's got the thing on, right? The mask, whatever, but he, he can't see his eyes, so like, how does he know who the hell he's peeing on, or, or what, or what the, like, he, he, does that make sense to you? I don't even know why I care, but you see, you see what I mean, right? You seem to be a fan. When was the first time you've seen or heard of this man? <sighs> okay, I was walking in my classroom, and someone tapped my shoulder, and I turned around to the most beautiful mask with the most beautiful lips. And he said in his voice, Hey, you got some burping on your shoe. And I was like, yeah, I do. And he said, can I have it? And of course, I said, sure. He ate it, and he just flew away. Oh, what a man. It's the end of the day, right? And I was just so relieved to finally get out of this help. I mean, work. Oh. And I uh, hope my rearview mirror. I see this Mexican kid. I think his name was also Pablo. Pedro, sorry. Pedro. And some, a group of boys come in and they start, you know, they make fun of him because he's not the real Pedro. And they start flapping their wings. Uh, and uh, the guy with the mask, the bronze man, right, takes this as a signal to go and swoop in. So he goes and swift, gives him a swift kick, right? And they all instantly land in 69 position. And then he decides to end it by humping the pole. And then I, uh, I guess I blacked out. I laughed hard, I blacked out after that. <laughs> Finally, a good reason to come into work that day, I tell you what. When was the last time you've seen or encountered this man doing any suspicious activity before his disappearance? I was at Dick's. Sporting goods. And there was a robbery. The robber was threatening us all, we were in panic, but here comes Brahmasman. He tried to tackle him, but the robber still got away. He ran to his car, but Brahmasman, he went after him. He threw himself against the windshield, heroically, and it looked like he peed himself, but it was White's. Wait a sec. It was White? Mm-hmm. Maybe... Maybe it was cow milk. It must have been. That's right, that's right. Dixie didn't mention that he started milking her cows. Maybe he put the cow milk in his pants and when he threw himself onto the robber's car as a diversion to, to make him swerve and crash so that way the police could catch up. That could be the only logical reason. It must have been. What a hero. So dreamy. But I have one more question. What do you know about your former student, Mike Hunt? Well, I have reason to believe that Mike Hunt may have worked with Brahms Man in the past, or perhaps still is. Can you tell me of any connections or theories you might have? I do have one story. Listen to this. <laughs> there was a pregnant girl in my class a while back, and, uh, you know, she gets up freaking abs or water broke or whatever happens when girls give birth. And, 
the... Suddenly, Mike Hunt. He stands up. He's like, I got this. He jumps on the table, or whatever, and he's just like, not today, Satan. And knocks it right back in. So I got serious, right? I got serious, and I went to the principal's office, so in reality, I just went to my car and laughed for about 30 minutes. Why are you even asking me this? Aren't there other students that you can ask on if they have a better chance of knowing? I mean, you're wasting my time. I'd like to work on me now, thank you. Thank you for your time. I oh, yeah, get paid enough for this. I'm sorry, I just can't. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry, I just think of all the terrible things that man has done. Nothing good he does can be forgiven after. After what? After, after what he did to Pedro. Ah, uh, yes. The tragic passing of Pedro. I'm sorry, I just... I, what? I can't do this interview. Excuse you? I was in the middle of him. Ah, uh, yes. The tragic Pedro. I remember it like it was yesterday. When he died and his body was mutilated. I've never seen so many people brought together. To share the same sorrow. This all connects in some way to our prime suspect, Mike Hunt. You okay, sir? I saw that something happened. Yeah, there's a cow on you. Always seems to show up not too long after the Brahms man exits the playing field. Did you, did you see where the Brahms man went? I don't know where the. Oh. What are you trying to say, sir? So I'm about to ask you the back. Stop humping my car. There are very many people that don't know about Mike Hunt and his questionable actions that he has committed. He dropped out of school not too long after the death of Pedro. And that got me thinking, why did Mike Hunt murder Pedro? I remember the Brahms man sighting started also around the time of his death. Strange. Speaking of kites and birds, I remember Drew mentioning that he thought he saw Mike Hunt, of all people, with an owl. Connection, the only connection I would say is, is uh, I feel like one time, I did see him also with a Sasquatch, but I don't know if he was fighting him or talking to him. I know he had a bird with him though, but I want no KFC bird. It looked like a living bird, like an owl. Now? Yeah. Real cuddly with that. Now the only owl that comes to mind in relation to the Brahms man is... <laughs> Houdini. The kite that Brahms man was baited into having an affair with Baby! Big car. Big car. Come on. Come on, little f Come on, filthy piece of bitch. No, 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 no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Shit! Shit! No! It's a fucking! I got you now, bitch! I got you this plan all along! I got you now, bitch! Suck who this. Suck it! This is the side of Brahms, man, that people don't talk about. Ah, uh, 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 you got this, Houdini. You got this, Houdini. No, Houdini. No, no, here he comes. Houdini. Uh, Houdini. Fly, fly, Houdini. Fly, what the? These tapes show the shameless, abusive relationship that he had with Houdini. No. no. Perhaps no. out of grief or <laughs> anger right or both out of the tragic loss of Pedro? Again, what the f could Pedro be the catalyst? Could Pedro be responsible for the creation of Brahms Man? I had to get answers, but there's only so much social media can show before everything gets lost and fades into obscurity and mediocrity. I've got you in my sight. With the only hopes of it ever resurfacing by becoming a meme.
So I went to a friend. An expert on media in general. It's good seeing it. It's good seeing it too. Yeah. I have some questions for you. I have answers. I'm just gonna get it straight for business. Who are you? And what do you do? The name's Mark Mewards. I'm a journalist for The Onion. I cover their real life stories that they do aside from their satire. As you can guess, I don't get a lot of work. That, that is true. That is true. What do you know about Brahms? He's a troubled man, for lack of a better word. He's... odd. But like a grenade, you know? You throw him into a crowd and you watch it scatter. Granted, usually with assorted body parts flying everywhere, but that's beside the point. He's a man who stands by his actions, right or wrong. And by golly, that's a man who deserves respect. When was the first time you've seen or heard this man? About six months back, I was at a dog park, and this man comes running in completely naked with his genitalia covered in peanut butter. Did he have the mask on? Of course, I've never seen this man with other masks. So, he's sprinting around the park, and I see all of these dogs start chasing after him. I assume he's just one of those perverts that runs around, you know, who am I to judge? But then I realize, on the news recently, I had seen a pedophile that had not been caught. And I see that this man is in this exact same park. So all of a sudden, the man with the mask runs up to him, jumps up, and starts humping his face. I mean, like, really getting in there. And then I realized, he wasn't a pervert. He was getting those dogs to attack the pedophile. Violent but not impractical. Exactly, you see in the point. He just strolled into town one day. He thought it quite odd due to the strange lack of birds out. But you know, I think you could smell that. Then we realized it wasn't the birds he was there for. Who was it? The remote controlled airplane convention. More about that. He pulls out just a single rock. You wouldn't expect a man to do much damage with a single rock. But all of a sudden, he just goes, and we thought he was going to throw them at the planes, right? But he just starts running up to the, the people with the controllers and bashes each of their heads in. And grabs the planes, and... Uh, we knew his tendencies with birds. We knew he would do the same to kites, but... Sounds of plastic. I mean, I had seen the photos on DeviantArt and Rule 34, but I never thought anyone could, you know, humanly do them. Any normal man under the same circumstances would have caused mass chaos, but Brown's Or at the very least, severe genital destruction. What do you know about Mike Hunt? Mike Hunt. I have reason to believe that Mike Hunt may have worked with Brown's man in the past, or perhaps still is. Can you tell me of any connections or theories that you might have? Well, Mike Hunt, he was a troubled fellow. Really, I believe his justification for the murder wasn't out of ego or because he was messed up in the head. I think it was out of jealousy. Jealousy? Yeah, think about it, man. Pedro, I mean, when he flew, people would just look up and it was glorious. And they would see him flying through the sky. I think Mike got into his head. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that better. I mean... Take a look at this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh sh <laughs> So you're saying that perhaps 
he tried to be as popular as Pedro, and but but maybe maybe people weren't giving him the attention he needed. So so he had to switch to drastic measures. So my assumptions were correct. I think I might be close to cracking this case and to find out who Brown's man was and my Hunt's affiliation with him. But that means the next person I would have to interview that may have crossed paths with Brown's man would be. Guy Fieri knows a lot of people and built quite a reputation for himself. And he always prides himself on his analysis of food and his mom's spaghetti. Hi, I'm Guy Fieri, and we're, and we're rolling out on America's greatest diamonds, diamonds, and dimes. But nowhere near as fast or notorious as Brahms Man himself. <laughs> but before Brahms Man took him down publicly, Mike Hunt was actually seen on this show first. I'm Gaffy Eddie and I'm a certified globetrotting food connoisseur. I go around all these places, I taste those their food, and I uh, show them around my famous mall spaghetti. And uh, I know it's straight right now, but just like two blooming lesbians, you just gotta make them wet and they'll work. It all work out. Yeah. 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 It's gotta be done. Now we wait for my mom's spaghetti. That's why it's called mom's spaghetti. Just gotta make the spaghetti wet. Hard right now. Make it wet. Go soft and lift. Mmm. 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 That's sexy. It smells like. Mmm. It smells like. It smells like. Mmm. Like, mm. <laughs> oh. Man, he thinks it's a good idea to come to my show. He can smash my show, crash my show, trash my show. Now I work hard. You where I am. I work hard. I'm cleaning your mess. Huh? You know, he's uh, cleaning up the streets while I clean up my plates. You know, I think. Play them all. Have them on my show. We'll bring them to Flavor Town. So he's on my show. He thought it would be a good idea since he thinks that pasta is Italian. He brought his own Little Caesar's pizza. I'm like, mmm. Fieri, and today we're rolling out to Little Brahms Pizza Shack right here in the back of my car. Hey, Brahms, how you doing? How we got, we'll bring you to Flavor Town. Got pizza. Cardboard, no flavor, tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza face! I have pizza! Look at that little Caesar shit! Cardboard ass pizza! Get the f out of my face with that shit! Big hands! It's on my f head! Look, yeah, f you! It's on my f hands! Hi, how you doing? Hey, what's up? And uh, my ratings drops ever since. Now, the cops are on me because I had a warrant for my arrest. Some people claim that they got food poisoning from my mom's spaghetti. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another. I was raised the law, and the law almost copped me, but uh, <laughs> like a vegan, I escaped natural selection. But this one man. Did you order the pizza? No! <laughs> my f dick! Oh, you f Oh, shit! Any jump in my car? The flavor went all over the place. My liquid, a little bit like this. Then I found out it was cow juice. I 
I'm like, hmm, this is a man of his crap. This bro, man, he was different. He wasn't wearing a hood no more. You see, bro, man had purpose. I saw my cunt, he had no purpose. He was flavorless. He was tasty. He was like a sesame seed. Or a vegan. He's an asshole. He made my knees weak and my arms sweaty. Actually, that was from my mom's spaghetti. Which is ready, hey! Hey, look at this! under his mask. Just like my mom's spaghetti. It's straight and hard. That's how I was. I was confused. What was my life spared? Did I get a second chance? They tried to come in again. They're like, oh, they're not my show. They're about to crash my show for attention. They try to get my ratings to go down. Just because I'm scared, he's going to eat free food and go all these other places and put people in my mom's get Did I just miss that on the TV? I said you can't catch me! Yeah, I check you out that Mike Trump fella and that bronze man. They often not in the same place at the same time. Maybe I got my foot trapped, so I'll be here till the cops get me again. It's the bronze man. Mike Hunt. From the footage like shown, recipe, recipe you can see that disaster. Mike Hunt continuously tried to sabotage Guy Fieri's business to get himself on camera, which result. eventually led to a dispute between the two. Be and caught in the middle of all this, Make quite a name for yourself. Brahms man. It'd be a shame. Oh shit! And I can only think of one other business in the food industry that attracts as much, if not more, attention to people than Guy Fieri himself. Dang, vegans can't even get my name on the drink right. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm Detective Dixon Cider. Are you Mike Hunt? Sir, are you okay? Sir, wait. Sir, why are you running? Sir, why are you running? Stop running! What? Stop running! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! Send a test adjuster! Where did he go? Wait a second, that was a substitution, you- Hiding somewhere. Luckily, a good detective always uses his resources. And I know how to lock pick. It, 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 wait, hold on. Okay, wait. It's unlocked! He's gone. It's just trash. Luckily, a good detective always researches his victims. I'm a suspect! Watch this. Red Robin! Yum! You're oh shit! Oh. I guess you can say the garbage man came early. Lame. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. I'm pretty sure you got the wrong guy. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My cunt. So. Why did you do it? She said she was 18. No, no, not, not that. Oh, uh. This, this will be between you and me, right? You're not gonna like put this in the report, right? What are you looking at? Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, what are you talking about? Why'd you do it? Do what? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why I'm here, why you're here, why you're in these cuffs. Oh, 
certain incident that happened a year ago and a certain man that's been missing. It all links back to you. To me? To you. You might have the wrong guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I'm full of it. I think you're full of it. Looks familiar? I don't have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah? What does it say? Bram. Close enough. Damn. Here you have a little history with that word. Yeah. Certain person affiliated with that word. Affiliation is a big word, detective. So tell me what you know. He was a vigilante about a year ago. Did a lot of bad, bad things. Did a lot of good things though too. And then he left. And ever since then, this city's gone to hell. People were all like, oh, we're better off without him. But look now. Look where we are now without him. Because it all started with you. You don't have any proof about that, Detective. And even if you did, probably wouldn't even be enough to take me to court. Oh, yeah? What about the murder of Pedro? I don't know anything about that. Really? You have to be more specific. Pedro! I've murdered a lot of Pedros in my day. There's only one Pedro that this town cares about. There is only one Pedro that inspired <laughs> hope to everyone! Talk about the Pedro that they rose a statue in in Central Park? That's the one. The one you murdered. Didn't really the know one him. Humiliated. Didn't do the that. The one you humiliated. Humiliated, humiliated, humiliated. The one you ate! Like they should put that in the dictionary. I didn't do it! That wasn't me. It was on Instagram. It was your face. It may have been my body, but it wasn't my mind. What does it have to do with me? I got nothing to do with this. I don't know what crazy idea you have, but whatever it is, drop it. You're probably wrong, and you're gonna make a fool of yourself, and you lose your damn detective career. Whatever it is that you are. You disappeared, all right? I don't have anything to do with them. I don't know anything about him. He just... He's gone. I think... Yeah, I think once you murdered Pedro, you were ridiculed by your peers. And once you dropped out, your mind snapped. Do I need proof? Exhibit A. That proof's nothing. Explain. It was high school, all right? Drinking, partying, drugs, the whole shebang. Shebang. Didn't mean for it to happen. It was a fight that went too far. You can't really call a fight if someone wasn't even defending themselves. You don't even know what he was capable of. The things he did. What did he do besides make people happy? You only know him for what he showed the people. You don't know what he was really like. You don't know what he was like. He was like a man behind a mask. Oh yeah, a man behind a mask. Exhibit B. Look closely. Where'd you find that video? Snapchat. Damn it! What do you want to know? Explain yourself. I didn't mean to do it. Trust me, it was an accident, I promise. I was high. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing, all right? I didn't know it was Pedro. I just thought it was some other bird. I didn't... I didn't want it to end that way. I think you couldn't live with yourself once you murdered Pedro. I think your inner psyche overwhelmed itself once you realized the horrible crime you've committed. When your mental breakdown was caught on camera. You couldn't take the stress. You couldn't take the isolation. You couldn't take the rejection from society you so well deserved. So you latched on to the nearest, filthiest 
best excuse you can. Brahms man. I knew Brahms man couldn't have done all those horrible things. At least, he couldn't have done them alone. So you created the problems so he could swoop in and save the day. He gets all the credit as the hero and you get all the fame and attention you so desperately wanted. So tell me. Tell everyone. I know you're working with him. So where is he? I, fine. You got me. I did work with him. But only when he was Brahms man. Once he abandoned that mask, he abandoned the spotlight. I abandoned him. I'm a soldier now. I cleaned up my act. So there you go. There's your story. That everybody already knows. Congratulations, detective. You deserve a drink. And I deserve to get out of these handcuffs. So why don't you do your job and let me go? You better drop all the charges you put on me, by the way. From all the stories I heard about this man, I had so much against him. But I can hold him against none of it. Even after all the eyewitness accounts, I still don't have enough proof to unmask this masked vigilante either. I thought I was just about to crack the case, but now I only know as much as everyone else. I'm running out of time, and I'm at a dead end. Maybe... Maybe if I can just show the evidence that I have now to Chief, maybe he'll connect the rest of the dots for me. And hopefully I can avoid... Judgment Day. Chief! I got bad news. Ah! See? The full title. Grand Cherokee. Mm. <laughs> I've interviewed all the connections. I, I even hunted down Mike Hunt. But I'm at a dead end. With, even with all the evidence, even with all the evidence. Ah, I see all the evidence, all this proof, but still no Brahms man. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> you spent all this hard work and you still didn't get to the real meat of what gives people like us the nutrients we need to survive. <laughs> Just like a filthy vegan. You know what that means? I gotta take it up with the big man himself. Now this could go one of two ways. The boss will figure out what to do with you and we all look bad and get reduced pay. <laughs> Hell. Maybe it will set us as a liability after all the work you've done and information you gathered from the people you met. And the people always have connections. We were supposed to be discreet, but you got sloppy multiple times, and nobody likes sloppy seconds. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> wipe yourself clean and sever connections. Or, I can deal with you my way. I put you and all this bronze man business behind us. And with you out of the picture, <laughs> maybe a bronze man might actually poke in his little product placement cow titty looking head out of hiding. <laughs> or maybe he won't. But hey, just like Mike Hunt, that's a risk I'm willing to pay.
Huh? You know the cheetah's not the fastest animal on the planet? It's me! What? Guess you could say, he got creep. Yo, whom's the frig are you? Well, you can call me the mitochondria. Because I'm the powerhouse of the cell. Graham, Tyson Tusk is a multi phase aerobic capacity. Oh, we're gonna have ourselves a little fun. Oh, Sting's on all. Come here, big fella. Oh, 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 oh. Smells like victory. Oh, There's more where that came from. I'm counting on it. Guess you could say that <coughs> cooking. <coughs> 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 That cook, that crooked cop got creamed. Wait, wait. Why, why did you save me? I can't hide from what I've done. Not anymore. We all make mistakes. We deserve a second chance to right those wrongs. I came here to tell you to publish your evidence. People deserve to see and know what I've done. And in time, they'll understand why I did it. So consider this a second chance. Wait. Wait. Who are you? I'm Brahms, man.
By the way, you look gay. You're right. Mike Hunt is Brown's man. I saw him. I could capture him, but but you failed. <laughs> oh, oh, Dixon, you disappoint me. But in light of recent events, I'm not surprised. So what do we do now? Oh, we do nothing. We stick to the plan, and he'll come back to us. They always do. And when he does, he's gonna need to bend over. Memory of Drew P. Wiener, also known as DPW. Drew P. Wiener, later died to a bobcat attack. He is one of the few signs of evidence proven that bobcats do exist, yet people still claim that bobcats are not real. You have a call. Finally, so are we gonna talk cash or what? What? I don't care if a space-time distortion from an alternate dimension is causing my agent emotional distress. Tell him he needs to figure out how to grow a pair and get his wife and kids back in time for my appointment or he's fired. Ugh, I can't believe the nerve of some people. Okay team, so it looks like our cow juice stocks have taken a bit of a nosedive, but I've got a plan that'll give our company a good old pick-me-up. Let me guess. We're milking the guy cows, aren't we? We're milking the guy cows. And how are we going to market that? <laughs> how are we going to market that? Get a load of this guy. No, really. Get a load of this guy. That's how we'll market it. It seems the world has forgotten what it truly means to fear. It seems the world has lost itself. I have slumbered for too long. Now it is my time to wake and to strike fear back into the world. I am a man of many faces. Yet my name is still known. No longer will I allow myself to rest anymore. It's time for me to come back. It's time. 
for me to make a return. My face may have changed, but my principles stay the same. I am to be feared. I am not to be trifled with. I 